Testing, testing, one, two, on the stress. All right, we're hot, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR and everything about the metaverse today. Very, very exciting video, as we're going to be talking about Meta's rollout of the Oculus Quest 2 Horizon Home, making VR much more social the moment that you put on your VR headset, which is pretty incredible. Now, of course, we know that Meta are being sued by every state in the United States, and there's a lot of controversy going on. But I wanted to bring on this video because at the end of the day, it can inspire potentially competitors and it's good for you to know what's going on because at the end of the day, social VR is the way to go. Social VR is the way to go. Playing VR on your own, I have to admit, it's not really good fun unless the actual app is amazing. It's much more fun to talk with people, to interact with people, and just be engaged with your family or your friends, and going together, or watching movies together, or being able to talk together, especially if you're far, the distance is far in between, and you're not able to be together, then that is exactly how VR should be in the future. So let's first go inside of the article that was published, I believe, by Upload VR. So let's just go there very, very quickly. Here we go, Upload VR has said, now Apple VR is one of very, uh, very rich, reputable, sorry, uh, trade magazine, Quest version 41 as Horizon Home to meet friends in social VR. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg formally announced Quest version 41 includes the ability to invite friends to your virtual home as soon as you put on your VR headset. Horizon Home has been uh, the announced name for the social feature since last year when Meta revealed it would be coming to the Quest. Over the years, Facebook tested and retired multiple VR apps aimed at meetings with a small group of friends, including Oculus Rooms, Facebook Spaces, and more recently, company released Horizon Workrooms. So guys, the first thing that you need to know in terms of all these things is, first of all, you do need a Facebook account in order to be able to power all the apps or to play all the apps inside of your VR headset. And there have been multiple, multiple reports, reports, sorry, about people who basically create a second Facebook account just for the Oculus Meta Quest. And then, you know, Facebook, the algorithm knows about it and they, they just close the account completely. People who spend hundreds of dollars inside of the VR headset basically are left with their money being completely taken out, you know, they can't use the apps whatsoever. The headset is a brick. So do be very aware of this. If you are going to be using the Quest 2, I do suggest that you also use Facebook. If you do not use Facebook itself, you don't post anything on Facebook, you don't upload perhaps your passport or whatever it might be, or you don't have friends on Facebook and it's a complete fake account, then do be aware that that's what's gonna happen. So, yep. it's. They said that they were going to stop doing that, but at the end of the day, they have not after months and months of saying this. And also in the future, most probably they will be requesting a Meta account, uh, which means that you will have to use their Meta products what's in one way or another, whether it's on Instagram or Facebook or something else. Otherwise, again, your Quest 2 will be rendered to be a brick. All right, let's go back to the actual article. Uh, I also think it's very interesting that they spoke about these three different things, because of course, uh, basically what happened was that Oculus Rooms, um, you know, uh, Oculus Rooms, um, you know, Facebook Spaces were big, 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 big flops, um, you know, in the world of of VR, simply because, well, they just weren't popular. People, um, you know, just just don't use it. What can I tell you? They're not popular whatsoever. Um, the products just don't meet the demand of what people actually want. And also people don't feel comfortable inside of Meta or Oculus, uh, Oculus branded products because of privacy. What can I tell you? It's a huge, huge issue. Um, you know, it just completely flop. Whatever they seem to be doing just flops. It just seems to be the recurring pattern <laughs> inside of any of the things that they're doing. Uh, it's just not working, you know, what can I tell you? Meta brand needs to change. Their policies need to change. The way they do things needs to change. Until that occurs, no one's gonna trust their products. And honestly speaking, the only reason why people buy their products right now for VR is because they wanna be in VR. But the moment there's a competitor that will come on the scene, believe me when I say this, and that meets the Oculus Meta's products, not by much, just by, let's say, 
that it works and they have good apps inside. FYI, the Pico Neo 3 link, and it's going to be widely available all over the world. Everything is going to shift over there. It's really that simple. That is the big issue. And if we just transition over, there was a big story that came out uh, not too long ago, how Meta settled, settled, which basically means they They agreed that they were in the wrong. They agreed to pay 90 million US dollars to settle a decade old privacy lawsuit, accusing it of tracking users' internet activity even after they locked out of the social media website, guys. This is huge, this is big. I mean, the, the great shame about this, unfortunately, is that the moment that people settle, Well, what happens? It means they go away, they take the money, and then they carry on doing what they want, and then they sued again a year or two later uh, for the same reasons, or perhaps because they increased, uh, you know, <laughs> that's basically it. But it would be good if the governments could stop settling and actually put the people behind bars who are responsible for all these crimes of humanity, because let's not forget that basically, and this is why we personally do not have any meta products on this channel. We're one of the only, let's say, five or 10 channels out of thousands of channels on YouTube uh, who promote VR, not to have any Oculus Quests on our channel, not to have any Oculus Go's or Quest 1's because we sold all those VR headsets simply because of crimes of humanity and the fact that they affect the social fabric of society in such a negative way, especially when it comes to elections, war, propaganda, misinformation, COVID vaccines, all this kind of stuff. At the end of the day, that is why we do not believe in any of the products and do not carry any of the products on this channel, even though, yes, we could ride the wave with everyone else as well, make money, get more views, all this kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, we believe in protecting humanity and, and the fabric of social, social society first before putting ourselves first. So, What can I tell you? All right, let's go back to the actual, uh, you know, you can go and read a proposed preliminary settlement was filed on Monday night. This was a few months ago with the US District Court in San Jose, California and requires judge approval. The accord also required Facebook to delete data it collected improperly. Users accused the Meta Platform uh, unit of violating federal and state privacy and wiretapping laws by using plugins to store cookies that tracked when they visited outside websites containing Facebook like buttons. Facebook then allegedly compiled users' browsing histories into profiles that it sold to advertisers. Guys, they sold your data to, ad excuse me, to advertisers, everybody. What do you think they're going to do with your VR headsets? Did you know that Facebook can collect up to 22 million data points every 20 minutes from people in VR, guys? They can use, you can see outside of your VR headset now. They can see in your home. They can track everything. They can record conversations of people you're having with when your headset's on or listen to the TV. They know what you're, you're watching now. You know, all this kind of stuff. Guys, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about all this. Uh, so let's go back here. So basically, uh, Meta is still in the midst of restructuring process that includes canceled projects and changing policies like the promise that Quest will drop requirements it to be connected to Facebook account. But as I mentioned before, we have not seen this after months and months and months of announcing this thing. Uh, Meta says Horizon Home is rolling out soon. Typically systems upstate for Quest uh, headsets take place over a couple weeks as the company ensures new features work as intended. Zuckerberg demonstrated the Horizon Home features in a video prepared with climate Alex uh, Honnold showing how two of them could use Quest 2 in a different physical space uh, to watch Honnold's recent 360 deg uh, degree video released together uh, and then the rest of it doesn't really matter. So guys, I just want to bring to attention also that uh, Horizon, you know, is very much used for kids. No one uses Horizon. No one uses Horizon. Literally, the majority don't. The only people who go in Horizon are researchers, uh, people who are curious, um, and also maybe developers, something like that. But no one uses Horizon other than kids. I really seriously question people who go in Horizon and hang out with the kids. Like if you're 18, 20, 30, 40, 50 year old and you're hanging out, you're hanging around with kids, I seriously question your, what you, what's going on in here? Because in real life, if you're that age and you hang around with a 12 year old for one hour, two hours, three hours, and you play games with them and you're like, you, you feel so much joy by hanging around with a 12 year old, there must be something wrong with you. No? Leave a comment below, guys. Let me know what you think. Do you think that what I'm saying is shocking right now? But come on, there must be something wrong with you. 
there must be something wrong with people who are 18, 20, 30, 40, 50 year olds who hang around with kids or who hang around in a platform that is meant 80 or 90 percent for kids. Like Roblox, it's meant for kids. I seriously question why you're in there in the first place. Rec Room, same thing. At the beginning, it wasn't really for kids, but now it is the majority. If you do an internet search, Target Market, Rec Room, Roblox, Horizon, it is for kids. It's for the Gen Z guys. It's not for millennials. It's not for, 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 for Gen X. It's for Gen Z guys. So I seriously question people who hang around in there. And also it's a very basic system. Now, if you really want good VR and you're Gen X or you're millennial, go inside of, for example, VR chat. It's much more widely used for those kind of people over there. Yes, there are kids. Of course, we cannot stop kids going into VR. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that the majority of people in VR for millennials and Gen X are inside of VR chat and also NEOS or alt space. Now, of course, now, Let's talk about this very briefly. Um, again, Horizon, there was a big controversy because there's a lot of sexual assault going on in there, a lot of predators going, in, going on in there, and the kids are just being kids. So basically, there was an article that came out about a researcher who went into Horizon Worlds and who says that her avatar was sexually assaulted by someone else, and you can go and Google this article. Um, but yeah, it is a big problem inside Horizon. There's all these different things going on. Now, of course, it's also going on in other platforms, but for example, uh, uh, Allspace is much more regulated. It's owned by Microsoft. Now, I do also, uh, let's say there could be some privacy issues in there too, because it's owned by Microsoft and they're a mega giant, so they could be also recording a lot of our things there as well. Of course, all the social media um, metaverse platforms could be doing the same. But, you know, in all space, there's much more policing going on and you can definitely feel it when you go inside of all space. You can definitely feel that you've been watched much more by people. Um, so, you know, but at the end of the day, it's a much safer space compared to Horizon World. VRChat is a much safer space compared to Horizon World, even though, yes, there are quite... Well, that's because there's a lot more people in there, so there are more issues going on in there as well. But at the end of the day, it is quite a safer space, and the graphics and the amount of things you can do in there are absolutely mind-boggling. Neos is also an amazing place to go in. Of course, all these different places have tools that you can use to ban people, kick people, make them invisible, mute them. There are a lot of different tools available in all these various different places. You can also have a bubble so people can't be too close to you. The moment that they're a little bit too close to you, they'll basically disappear from your from your eyesight. So it's really about if something occurs, it's if you see it, let's say five meters in front of you or a couple of meters in front of you, it is true. There are certain things that go on in all these places. That's not something that you can really control at this moment in time. Something that perhaps should be, yes, is true, policed. But at the end of the day, we also don't want too much policing too, right? Because otherwise it will render our experience in VR. Uh, pros and cons, balance, what can I tell you? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about all these various different things. So how we can police things. And also watching movies in VR, big screen is at the moment the place to be when it comes to watching movies because you can create rooms in big screen. You can stream movies from your PC. You can watch YouTube directly inside of big screen without having to go anywhere. You can watch by watching, uh, you can purchase tickets to all your classic movies inside of big screen and watch inside a virtual cinema, which makes you feel like you're inside of a real cinema, by the way, is really, really amazing. And invite all your friends from around the world inside of the same cinema with you. So it's really amazing as to what you can do inside of big screen. But again, I think what Meta and Oculus are doing is really cool. It is reminiscent, of course, of her uh, Oculus Rift Home, which you were able to do a lot of social VR inside of Oculus Rift Home. That really was very popular. But the reason why it's popular, guys, is because you had to buy the Rift to be inside of it. And it was before, by the way, um, that, you know, it, Oculus had changed official hands to Meta. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, as I mentioned, Quest is dead, in my opinion. It's only going to be there for another few years. And the moment that there are competitors around that allow you to have a similar kind of experience, everyone's going to shift to that, unless, of course, Meta would change their privacy and also branding philosophy and strategy. And we start to see all these negative articles being taken away, replaced by only positive stuff. 
then there's a chance there that Meta will do extremely well, be extremely successful in VR. But until then, I think Meta's time is ticking. The clock is ticking. And I think in a few years from now, you're going to see that basically MetaQuest headsets are going to be a thing of the past. Just an amazing dream in the pipeline that never came to fruit. What do you guys think? Let me know. All right, let's leave a comment below about all these different things. And let's just read some comments to say hello to you guys because you're freaking awesome about the previous video which I had uploaded about the Pico Neo 3 Link. Uh, it was about the review after 30 hours time of using it and comparing it to the HP Reverb G2. I just want to thank Max Cubit, Dave VR Rima, Jesus Sus uh, Super Sense, uh, ZGY, Dallas Dr. Solensky, Too Lazy to Edit, DT1000, Ecomag Games, as well as Tasmania, Zardos, Lowrider, Zerith, Thomas Sturge Allard, and all the other people uh, who replied under all these things, including Serafina, uh, Tage FPV, and also all the other guys here as well. Hi6 replies and Bella Hedia Osgan. Thank you, thank you, thank you for commenting below. Let's just read some of the best comments I've seen. Thanks for this review. I have Quest 1 and had a G2. The G2 has sold because now I have a Pamex AKX and also I'll stick to the Quest 1 for now. Yes, definitely right. I think uh, I think you have a very good setup here. No need to get the, the Pico link in this respect. Uh, Dave Yarima says, I can't remember if it was a video of your other one, but you mentioned the battery isn't at the back. Yes, that is very true, guys. The Pico Neo 3 link, I don't know what happened to me there. Maybe I was just too tired. Uh, the battery is at the back, guys. It's not at the front, it is at the back. And then the processor things are at the front, which means that the comfort is really, 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 really awesome. Uh, Jesu says, hello, could you make a video about what Pico looks like for simulators? Now guys, do go and check out the previous video that I uploaded literally a few hours ago, uh, where I take Automobilis Tattoo and the 4K DP cable. Be a very good video for you guys to, uh, to go and check out. Uh, see, uh, Jedwai says, hope Pico can solve chromatic aberration. That has been solved in the previous video. Do go and check that out. Dallas the Doctor says, waiting all day for this part two, baby. Thank you very much, Dallas. Really, really appreciate your comment. Um, and then let's just read one more uh, comment. Did you said, I'm glad I waited for this review. I wanted the Pico for wired PC VR, but it's got way too many issues. Yes, there are some issues. And guys, do remember that I will do another video uh, talking about all the potential apps that are not compatible with the Pico Neo 3 link. I already listed some of those in some of the previous videos. So do go and hit the notification bell after you subscribe for the notifi notification for that video, the new one. And also do go and check out previous videos about all that as well. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Do remember that we're doing a huge massive giveaway upon hitting the 11,000 subscribers where you can win a brand new HP Reverb G2, some cyber shoes stuff there as well. And also a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem for your favorite VR titles on any store whatsoever on any VR headset whatsoever all right guys until next time take it easy love you lots have a great weekend a great week ahead Whew, I'm pumped see you later guys see you in the comments below and also in that video as well the video that's on this side I think it's this side <laughs>